Aaron, people are asking a lot of questions out there, and one big one they had is what effect has the removal of the San Clemente Dam had on the Carmel River, and did that cause any flooding? We weren't able to get up to the site today, but we were able to talk to California American Water. Water was screaming out of the spillway at Los Padres Dam. The Carmel River hit 15 feet at its peak this weekend, and California American Water says it measured a whole lot of water where the old San Clemente Dam used to be. As you can see, the water is still moving fast at Los Padres Dam. Calliam says at the old dam site during the height of the storm, 7,000 cubic feet of water were moving off the mountain. That's equivalent to 4.5 billion gallons of water a day. But Calliam says if the dam had been there, it wouldn't have done anything to prevent flooding in Carmel Valley. No, actually the, the San Clemente Dam was never built for flood control or protection. Um, it was a water supply dam that had a relatively small capacity. Which leaves residents in the Paso Hondo neighborhood still searching for answers. We introduce you to Gary Bryant Wednesday. His home was flooded this week and he wants to know what, if anything, the county plans to do to prevent it in the future. It feels like we are, as homeowners and people, we are at the bottom of the list. Um, and that will be very evident if nothing takes place after this second flood within three days. Bryant says his home wasn't affected in the 1995 or 1996 floods, and he hopes his representative is looking into why his and other homes on Paso Hondo flooded this week. I think that flood control is something that's being looked at. Yeah. I mean, in terms of our very short time, Mary's been in office for a couple days. Kate Daniels is the chief of staff to Mary Adams, the new county supervisor for District 5. Daniels is well aware of the problems in Carmel Valley. Her basement flooded too. It just came out from under the ground for us here, up through the, um, through the garage, coming out through the cement, coming in through the sides. It was just a never-ending deluge of water. Daniel said there are projects in the works to relieve flood problems in CSA 50 and Mission Fields. Those areas flooded in the 90s, but so far, nothing that would have saved Brian's home on Paso Hondo. About 10 homes were affected by this flooding this week, and they're hoping that the county will look at what can be done in the future to prevent it. Erin. All right, Caitlin, thank you. Daniels with Supervisor Adams' office says that storms like this one, they're going to happen again. She says her office is definitely looking forward to working on solutions.